we have uh, in our midst tonight via uh, Zoom. Um, China Cheru joins us, program manager of Wazobia FM Port Harcourt. Uh, good evening to you and welcome to Game On. Good evening, Favor. Um, good to be on your show tonight. All right, uh, another window beckons, of course, for the AFCON 2025 qualifiers. You went Uyo the last time they played in September, and uh, we, of course, got uh, four points from a possible six. This time around, it's a Libyan side, home and away. I would like to ask, uh, what are your expectations? Knowing fully whether we don't have uh, a talisman, Victor Sime, in camp. We'll have to, at some point, learn how, learn how to play without him. I, I understand when you have a player who delivers on the money every time he plays for you, you tend to get used to him. I remember in those days between 1991 and 1994, the Eagles looked as though without Rashidi Yakini, we could not score goals. But we had enough firepower then. We had a mock we had something sincere. For a brief spell, we had Richard Obokiri, you know, so we could do, we can't do without Victor Simen. And we have to learn how to play without him because he will not always be there. There'll be injuries, there'll be suspensions. There'll be outright uh, absenteeism uh, by him. So I think we, we, it's Libya. We, we, we keep saying there are no more minnows in football, but it's Libya. We should get six points on Libya, unless we're not a serious nation. So, Victor, even or not, I think we have enough uh, around us to, to win against Libya and win well too. I'm not overconfident, but I think that's just how it is. Yeah, I'm happy with the, with the fact that 20 players have turned up today. Uh, that's a good sign. Um, I hope we can have intensive, serious training sessions. Um, and, and we spoke about it last time. I don't know whether I can not to um, observe it. Uh, when we played against uh, uh, Benin Republic, Benin Republic. Maybe, it was, maybe it was because we were playing against Benin Republic, who had just beaten us in the World Cup qualifiers, that we took it a little bit more seriously. Yeah. The players didn't come to the training with their phones. They just went to training and, you know, but it looks like things are... Um, because I, I need to free her now. Uh, but I'm happy that Madoka Okoye has come in early this time, unlike um, uh, the really? last time. But, but China, I don't know whether you agree with me. If the Eagles can get four points from this game, that's win on Friday and avoid a defeat uh, next week, that should be enough <coughs> to at least put us in the top two and the place uh, at the AFCON guaranteed. Yes. That will be eight points. With that, we will qualify for the AFCON because it's not just the first team. Top two will qualify. So, yes, um, once we win on Friday, it's not touch and go for us. Avoid a, a defeat uh, next week, then we are, we, are, we, are, we, are all, we are home and dry. So, so yeah, I agree with you on that. Hmm. All right, uh, let's... Uh, uh, okay, Wally, you have a question? Oh, yeah. Ch Ch China, I wanted to, you know, um, take you on a couple of interesting call-ups, you know, um, for the Super Eagles. First of all, a left back, Benjamin Tanimu. Right back. It's a right back or left back, you know. Right back. It's right. a full back anyways. Okay. Yeah. Um, I wanted to take you on, on, on that. I mean, this is a player who joined Quality Town and we still have no record of him playing a game yet. Um, he probably has not even seen action about two months or, or, or almost three. And they still got a call up. Um, what do you make of that? And, and most importantly, again, no Victor Osime, most likely Victor Boniface up front again. Who has struggled, you know, to really, really come to terms with the demands of the international game? You know, I, I want you to talk us through that. What are you expecting from Boniface? Do you think uh, that Osuna Guavoy needs to tweak one or two things? And your thoughts on Benjamin Tanimo? You probably also want to talk about um, uh, Guavoy's response to um, the invitation well, of Kelechi and Acho as well. Okay, um, sometime in the 90s, I read a newspaper article. I don't remember who wrote the article. And whoever wrote it was trying to explain um, Victor Weber being called Prince of Monaco and not, you know, scoring like that at the Super Eagles. Or Richard Obokuri scoring goals of Victoria Setubal and not being able to find his feet at the Super Eagles. Or maybe F. and Koku scoring at Norwich City and not scoring so many goals of Super Eagles. And the article was titled Club Heroes, Country Zeros. Uh, I read that school sometime in 92, 93, maybe 94. Now, um, so I, I hope that Victor Boniface is not a club hero and country zero. But again, when you come into a team that has a recognized goal scorer, you hardly get playing minutes. And when you get playing minutes, you're under so much pressure, mostly from yourself, to perform. 
So maybe that's what has, I don't know what has happened to him before now. But with Victor Simon out of the team, and he probably getting the starting shed because, I mean, he's in form and all of that. Let's see if he can, you know, put his head, keep his head above the pressure and get the goals. Now, for the other players, coaches will always invite players based on form or based on reputation or maybe some other reason that only the coach can see. Now, and that's why when I go, when I go for games like this, I want to talk to the coaches and ask them, why did you do this? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? So because we are broadcasters, we are journalists, we are fans, we have an idea of how the team should play. We have an idea of who should play for the team. We have an idea of where those people should play. But only the coach has his own idea of who should be invited, who should play, and how they should play. And that's why when I see team this like, yes, I, I ask questions, but I'm not going to fault any coach over invitation. So, Benjamin, why is he in the team? Right? I, I didn't hear the interviews of today. So, I don't know what question you're going to avoid answer. Let me tell you what you did not answer. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, but I'm sure... Okay, uh, sorry to cut you. I, I, we're going to get that interview right now so you can also listen to what he said. I mean, talking about the game and also defending the choice of bringing also Kelechi Henacho to the team. Let's hear from, let's hear from uh, Augustine Agua, the interim coach of Super Eagles. The team sports, not in the real sport. We're in touch, in touch, and, and um, we can understand him. He can understand us. It's, it's a huge miss. We all know that how important and impactful Osime can be. But we have other players who can step into his shoes. He's here, not here physically, but I'm 100% sure he's here spiritually with us. Yes, they're done right now. doesn't mean that they can't rise because they have a couple of games to play. But, um, you know, they are where we are where our position, our position and their position. And they will come here and fight. But we'll also try with forget about the past games now we're looking ahead to Libya's game. Not even in the away game, our focus right now is the game in front of us. And the boys are ready and we're gonna give Libya a tough fight. We will fight for you know for those three points, every second counts. And we know what it means to get the job done and over with as quickly as possible. It's gonna be tough, but I think at the end of the day, with the boys that we have and the spirit and nobody's injured right now. No deliver. Augustine Aguavarin talking about the game against Libya, the double header, and also the uh, invitation of Kelechi Henacho. Let's take a look at uh, his record this season so far for Sevilla. Kelechi Henacho has played five matches and uh, no goals or no assists yet uh, for uh, Sevilla. Uh, that's this on your screen. So far, so good. Siri Dezas uh, also, the Super Eagles player, he was not invited, uh, but we'll look at his uh, stats this season. Seven matches. Three goals and one assist for Rangers in Scotland. We also have a man, of course, Aroko, Aroko Dari, also Tolu Aroko Dari. He has 10 matches, six goals and zero assists. These are some of the players who place in similar position. And uh, Coach Augustine Agavoy has said experience counts for him over the current form of these players mentioned. Uh, China Acheru, you would want to uh, respond to uh, Augustine Agavoy defending his choice of picking Kelechi and Nacho over these players we just uh, talked about who are currently on form. Yeah, he, he may have used word experience, but I'll, I'll, use, I'll substitute that word with um, reputation, right? Um, I'll give you an example. Harry Kane will always, will always be invited for England right now. Whether he has scored in the last 10 games or not, he will be invited. That's reputation. So um, we have players who you just mentioned now. That's their form chart. This number of games, this number of goals, that's the form chart. And like I said, coaches will either invite on form or on reputation. That form has to last a while before you can break in and knock off someone that has been there before. So I want to understand with the coach, eventually the box, the box stops on the table. If we don't win the game or if we don't do well, we are going to be shouting that Guavoy must go and not Favor must go or China actually must go. So I think that um, he has looked at this how we should look at it, and has picked the best thing for these two games. There are always players who want to invite to the national team. There are always players who want to invite to the national team. But for once, or I mean, let, let, let us trust the coach, the coach and the decisions. Uh, he will live and, and die by them. And if he thinks that, I'm not a fan of Ian Achor myself, but if the coach thinks that Ian Achor right now should be in the team, then so be it. We'll stand by him because he's, like I said, 
he's going to live and die by his choices. All right, I must say a big thank you to you, China Acheru, for your quality time. And we hope that uh, the Super Eagles can bag maximum points in both legs against Libya. Thank you very much for your time. Tony, please come to Portacos again. We miss you. <laughs> Okay. Is this safe to oh, oh, oh. is this safe to come now? Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I'm here. I'm here. Well, I'm here. I'm which here. side? Which side are you? <laughs> oh my way. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, on, I'm on the side of River State. <laughs> <laughs> okay.